The brand new Champo Gautier Le Beau Paradise Garden is the latest flanke to one of my summer favorites, Le Beau. After wearing Le Beau Paradise Garden a bit, it's time for me to share my thoughts on it and if I think it's a good fragrance. So Champo Gautier is, at least to me, all about fun, flirty and sort of a playful sense and the original Le Beau is one of my top compliments for summer so this release really got me fired up. So they finally introduced mint into the Le Beau line and mint is one of my favorite notes in some of my favorite sort of a fresher Le Mals. They also went into a more aquatic and green direction which I think is interesting. Let's take a look at the notes. Some of the notes in Champo Gautier's Le Beau Paradise Garden are watery notes, green notes, mint, ginger, coconut, Nut, fig, salt, Santa wouldn't tonka bean. So what does Le Beau Paradise Garden smell like? Le Beau Paradise Garden hits you straight away with a big dose of coconut. Coconut wrapped in a cloud of freshness that's fresh in a sort of a green and slightly aquatic way. The opening does remind me a bit of the original, mostly because of the coconut. But this is not the kind of citrusy fresh opening that the original has and it's also not a typical green and aquatic kind of opening. This blend of greenness and freshness to me is a mix of coconut, fig and something slightly aquatic but not really aquatic. And I do want to highlight that so you don't expect the kind of aquatic freshness that you get in fragrances like Armani Aqua de Parfum. In other words, it does feel watery sort of a fresh but not intensely aquatic fresh if that makes sense. A few minutes into the opening you get a bit of that mint which basically adds another layer of sort of a freshness and brightness to the whole thing. I don't think it's intensely minty though especially if I compare this with other fragrances I have with mint in them and it does feel like the mint takes a back seat to the coconut and fig but it's there for sure and mint to me in a fresh scent just adds something that I really Really enjoy. So you got this coconutty fresh scent with fig and mint and there's this salty quality over the whole thing. And as it heads into the mids, the whole thing gets wrapped in the soft and sweet warmth of tonka. The coconut tonka combo from the original is in Le Beau Paradise Garden as well, but it's not exactly the same. But this combo is really the core of what makes both of these feel tropical. That milky, slightly warm vanillic sweetness and the combination with the coconut is what I absolutely love in the original Le Beau and I'm enjoying it here as well. The opening is fresh coconut with fig, the mids is where that freshness gets covered in tonka and everything being a bit salty, minty and spicy. And as it dries down it slowly changes from being primarily coconut fresh with fig to green fig and vanilla with a bit of coconut in the dry run and everything being a bit woody and sweet. This transition on my skin takes about 60 to 90 minutes. And the reason why I share that is so that you can get a sense of how long it takes for it to change from something that's more on the fresh side to something that is more sort of a woody, vanilla and sweet. In other words, after about 60 to 90 minutes, it's not as fresh and green as in the opening. You will probably experience something different, but that's how it changes on my skin. The mids and that initial dry down is probably my very favorite part of it because that's when I feel that a lot of the ingredients come together nicely. You have the freshness, the coconut, the vanilla, the mint and all. The opening is nice, but it doesn't have the depth to it and the full dry down is nice as well but it feels like some parts are much softer by then. Le Beau Paradise Garden is definitely a more nuanced version of Le Beau. It does have more layers to it and that brings in something exciting. The star in both is very much the coconut but it feels at least to me that the coconut in Le Beau Paradise Garden is slightly less intense than in the original. It feels like the green freshness pushes it slightly behind it. I'm not saying that the coconut is weak here but I am saying that Paradise Garden's complexity makes it a bit less dominant while still being prominent. Let's talk about its sweetness, it's got a bit of it for sure. But to me, it's a bit less sweet than both the original and Le Bolle Parfum. I think its freshness and greenness play a part in at least making it feel a bit less sweet. And the same goes for the Tonka. It's not as heavy on the Tonka as both the original and Le Bolle Parfum. One way to sort of simplify Paradise Garden is to think of the original, keep its Tonka coconut combo, change its citrusy freshness to a green 
water and minty one and add a bit of the woodiness from Le Beau de Parpa. Le Beau Paradise Garden is in a way a combination of these two made green with a less intense dose of vanilla and sweetness. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment if you want me to do a comparison of these. Overall I like the scent and I'm really glad that there's one more fragrance in the sort of a fresh and sweet category. I've always loved Armani Aquadigio Absolute which is aquatic freshness with fruity sweetness and Le Beau Paradise garden sort of a falls into the same category while being very very different. So how do I feel when I wear Le Beau Paradise Garden? The original Le Beau is summer sexiness in a bottle and Le Beau Paradise Garden gives me a bit of that but with a twist. Not sure if it's as sexy as the original I do need to wear it more and I also probably need to do a comparison of these two but Le Beau Paradise Garden is definitely a fun flirty and sexy kind of fresh scent. So what about compliments and reactions from others? I've only had this for a short period of time, so no compliments yet, but this giving me strong Le Beau vibes makes me think that it will turn out to be something similar to the original Le Beau in that it will pull in compliments summertime, just make sure you spray it properly. So what about the performance? Le Beau Paradise Garden is unfortunately not a strong scent, at least not on me. When I worn Le Beau Paradise Garden, it feels like the projection is pretty good but only for a short period of time. And while it does last a bit on skin, it does not have insane longevity. So longevity is better than projection, and projection is kinda good, but only for a short period of time. Le Beau Paradise Garden is not a fragrance that will have a strong projection for a long time, but you might experience better performance than me. But I do recommend the same thing I do with the original Le Beau, and that is to spray a lot and to reapply when you're out and about. So this is future me, a full day after this review. I happened to get some Le Beau Paradise Garden on my shirt and I could still smell it the next day. So longevity seems very good, at least on clothes. So when should you use Le Beau Paradise Garden? This is primarily a fresh and green scent with a coconutty opening and a woody and vanillic dry down. And while you can wear it throughout the year, I definitely think it will shine the most with a bit of warmth around you. So more of a warm weather kind of scent than anything else. So late spring and summer for sure, the summer fall transition or whenever you want this kind of scent on you. I think this is a very casual scent, so best enjoyed for occasions like that and maybe less for work and formal events. Think more about being out on a warm summer day or by the pool with a drink in your hand with your friends than being to a formal event with your tux on. But like always, wear whatever you want whenever it makes you feel good. So who's this fragrance for? The sort of a baseline here for thinking of buying Le Beau Paradise Garden is that you should enjoy the scent of coconut because this much like the OG Le Beau and Le Beau Le Parfum is very much focused on that. If you don't like the scent of coconut, then don't even think of this. If you're a bit like me in that you absolutely love coconut in fragrances, then I would say make sure you try it out. We coconut lovers don't have that many good coconut fragrances to choose from, so definitely try it out if you love the scent of coconut. If you like the original, then you will most likely enjoy Paradise Garden as well, as long as you don't mind it's sort of a green and minty side. Stay away if you usually don't enjoy the scent of coconut. Definitely stay away if you usually don't enjoy sweet fragrances and definitely stay away if you usually don't enjoy fragrances that has vanilla in them because this has that in it. What are some of the alternatives to Le Beau Paradise Garden? The most obvious alternative is of course the original Le Beau. It's not green, it's not minty, it has a dose of citrusy freshness instead but it's a gorgeous mix of freshness, sweetness and coconut with vanilla. If you love coconut in fragrances and prefer something that's a bit deeper, more complex and a bit warmer then definitely try Le Beau Le Parfum. Hugo Boss Bottle Pacific is also a coconutty fresh scent that's woody, but it's not green and it lacks the sweet vanilla that Le Beau Paradise Garden has. This is a better choice if you want coconut, but without sweetness and vanilla and instead more woodiness. Davidoff Cool Water Intense is a great cheapie that's a mix of coconut and sweetness with a bit of citrus. It's not as fresh as Le Beau Paradise Garden and it is different, but it's coconutty sweet with solid performance. Those four are not the same as Le Beau Paradise Garden, 
version. However, Lebo EDT is the closest to it, but all of them are coconut focused fragrances with a tropical vibe. So how am I going to rate Champagotti Lebo Paradise Garden? This in a way is a fresher, a greener and woodier version of the original Lebo. It has a coconut tonka combo from the original that I love and it gives me Lebo vibes but with a twist. I like this version for sure even though I wish some things would have been amped up a bit more. The performance is not the best but I'm just gonna do what I do with the original Lebo and that is to spray a lot. I'm going to give Champagotti Le Beau Paradise Garden a 9. It's a great release, especially if you love the scent of coconut. So what would have made me rate it higher? I like it and the direction they went in, and I definitely think it's a fun and exciting scent. I think I would have just wanted to sort of shift the weighting of different notes around. I would place its greenness and freshness slightly below the coconut and tonka. In other words, make that part of it slightly weaker, and I would probably have made its mintiness stronger. This is definitely minty, but I want more of it. These changes, at least in my mind would bring the coconut tonka combo to the forefront while still having that green freshness adding complexity to it with a more intense dose of mint. Subtle changes but changes I think would put even more focus on the main star of the show that coconut tonka combo. Overall great job Champo Gautier now just make sure you don't discontinue this one. I would love to know how you feel about Champo Gautier Le Beau Paradise Garden and how you would rate it from 1 to 10 so make sure you comment. Like this video I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you check out the videos over there and I'll see you in the next one.